Okay, Frank Bernardo here for Sports Guide MMA. Joining me today is Chad and Heliger ahead of his UFC debut at UFC Fight Night Los Angeles versus Fiziev. How are you, Chad? I'm doing good, man. How are you doing? Yeah, very well, thank you. Um, so, uh, UFC debut coming up. H how are you feeling? How's the preparation going? How is it all? Uh, I feel great, man. I'm excited. Uh, prep has just been awesome. Everything's gone totally to plan. I knew about this fight for a long time, so I've had a, a real big full camp, you know, 12 full weeks. Um, I was just able to kind of time everything properly. I, I've, I've had a lot of fights, you know, so I, I time my training camps really well, and uh, everything's right on track, man. I'm ready to perform. Yeah, like you just said, you you are a, a veteran of the, of the game. Um, does it feel different now, though, it, you, being an MMA fighter, now that you are officially signed to the UFC? I mean, I wouldn't say too different, but, you know, I'm not there yet. So who mm. knows? That might change when I get down there in uh, in uh, less than less than two weeks. But, um, I mean, preparation, all that stuff is all the same. I do feel uh, rejuvenated, though. It's a real big boost. You know, I feel like I'm 0-0 again, mm. and I got a lot of fire under me right now to, to get out there and make some noise in the UFC. So, you know, when you fight for a long time, um, you always want to win and perform, but your, your drive and your motivation – fighting locally for so long it's just natural it starts to go down a little bit mm. and i feel like a new man like once i got my contender series fight i was really motivated for that and now the contract i'm just more motivated net than ever i feel like i'm you know totally o and o again and uh, i'm ready to rock that's awesome um how long have you felt ready to be you know competing at obviously yeah the ufc top of the of the the food chain uh, in the world of MMA? obviously you've got wins over um the likes of Brady Heistand, um, obviously on the Ultimate Fighter, uh, that was before Gafarov, who he himself is as a big name. You know, you've proved that you can fight the top of the regional scenes. How long have you felt ready to fight at the top of just MMA? You know, I, I've been ready for, for quite a few years now. The last probably three or four years, I know that I've been ready. But the reality was, is I started out with a really bad record and mm. I just was not going to get into the UFC with that record. So um, I had to keep focused on winning these regional fights even though you know i thought that i was better than these guys and i thought that i should be fighting you know uh, on, on the highest shows um i had to kind of just keep my head down and get the work done till i had a record that would get me my chance and then once i had that chance on the contender series you know i knew i wasn't gonna waste it i wasn't gonna be overwhelmed by the moment or anything like that because i've been working at it for a long time and it took me longer but now that i'm here i'm more prepared to capitalize on it so uh you know I, I'm, I'm actually kind of happy the way my whole career worked out and it taken a bit longer for me to get to the UFC because now that I'm here, you know, uh, I'm ready to rock and, and, and do well. 100%. Uh, we will get to the UFC start in a second, but um, just to go back to that contender uh, fight uh, victory, what was the sort of range of emotions that you went through after beating uh, Gafarov? Um, and also, how long did it all properly take to like sink in fully? Oh man, that was a wild experience. It really was. Uh, the fight itself was 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 wild and and tough. And uh, the fight being so close and competitive, a lot's going through your mind. I mean, even in in between rounds, talking to my corner, and I knew that we were tied going into the third. I was tired, but I knew he was tired. And you know, it, it was a it, a lot happened in that fight. It was a it was a really big moment for me. I, I got to test myself against some of the best in the world. Uh, especially in the grappling realm and I, it really helped kind of reaffirm that I've been doing the right things in the gym and that I, I am ready for these guys um, because I was able to, to hold my own um, in the grappling with with Gafarov so that felt great you know the fight itself once it was all done it was like a crazy up and down through the fight but then I also had to go through the uh, the contract you know um, process with Dana on the show as well and again I watched everybody else come, come out after me and you know get these quick knockouts and I'm like oh man like I don't know if I'm going to get it. And then I, you know, even through Dana's speech about me, it was up and down. I didn't know. And then when I finally got it and it, it wasn't until I was back home, like I flew home the next day and I was kind of sitting in my house and with my girlfriend, like, holy shit, we really did it. I'm actually in the UFC now. So it was, uh, it was an amazing experience. I'm so lucky I got to do it. 100%. Um, now that you're in the UFC, are, are there any like personal goals that you are setting yourself for, uh, you sort of alluded to like, yeah, it's almost a new chapter of your career for you, saying you it sort of feels like you're an O and O. What what sort of personal set goals are you setting yourself now in this new chapter of your career? 
You know, it's kind of interesting because I have the obvious ones is I need to go in and I need to get a win. You know, I, I want to perform well uh, on my contract so that I get re-signed. That, that's a really important goal. I don't want to be, you know, a flash in the pan or one and done or say I just made it to the UFC. That's not good enough for me. You know, I want, I want to do well and, and, and compete. Uh, but more than anything, some of the pressure is almost feels off because I had so much pressure on my winning streak. I knew that it was my last chance to get to the UFC. And if I lost that streak, I was going to lose a lot of momentum and I didn't have a great record. Um, so there was a ton of pressure for me to keep winning these fights, uh, even locally before the contender series. And now that I'm in, obviously I want to keep that streak going, but I feel like I can focus more on performances. I just want to perform as great as I can. I want to put on exciting fights. I want the fans to want to watch me fight. You know, the grind all the way to the UFC is kind of a different mentality where you have to win and you have to do these things to get there you have to put in the time but now that I'm there I feel like I can finally show you know who I really am in fighting and and let the world see some of the uh exciting fights that I can put on uh, and the first fight is going to be against Jesse Strader uh what do you make of him uh, as an opponent uh, I mean he, he's going to be a tough opponent absolutely I think he's got a lot of uh He's got a lot of things I need to be very cautious with. I mean, he's very strong, athletic, explosive athlete. Those, um, you know, I can't be overlooked, um, especially in fighting. So I want to make sure that I'm doing the right things technically, skillfully. And I, and I know I can beat him. I know I'm better than him. Uh, but I still have to make sure that uh, it, the fight goes down the way it's supposed to go down with me winning. So I have to be very disciplined. Um, I, I'm happy that I think. This fight is going to be exciting for the fans. It's going to be a little bit more stand-up fight. I, I think that's how Jesse likes to fight. Um, it gives me a great opportunity coming off the Gafarov win, um, showing a lot of my grappling. I can bounce right over and show uh, my striking and uh, really give the USC fans a good look at uh, who I am. Is there a specific way you sort of envision it uh, playing out? Like, do you have a specific, uh, you know, when you, when you sleep at night, what's the, what's the finish you imagine in your head? You know, it's not a specific finish, but what's going to happen is I'm going to tire him out and then I'm going to take him out. So mm -hmm. whichever way that happens, um, if he wants to keep standing, then he's going to end up laying down. If he wants to start shooting, then I'm going to end up choking him, getting on top. Um, but the plan is to wear him out and take him out. So he, he'll kind of decide which way he wants out of there. Okay. Uh, the division you're entering the UFC in, um, 135 pounds, is, is possibly the deepest division in the UFC right now um what sort of uh tools skill set uh, and just your overall game do you think you bring to this 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 yeah deep division that's going to make you stand out make, make you have a really good run in the UFC you know I think um most of these guys they just won't be able to handle my striking my boxing you know I definitely hit harder than um than most or most of or that entire division. I, I know it because I've seen it through all my fights at whatever weight classes I can put anybody down. I've got real confidence in that um, from the first minute of the fight to the last minute of the fight, I can still get a knockout. Um, so I have a lot of confidence in my hands and I have a lot of experience. I've been through a lot, including my losses. So um, I have a lot of experience in there. I've got great cardio. I've got lots of power in my hands. I've showed I can handle those heavy grappling style wrestlers. So I've got all areas checked off. All I have to do is get in there and perform that night. So I 100% have the skills and the ability to get it done. And then I keep adding and adding my experience and my composure each fight. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's only going up from here. I'm not scared of anybody in that division. Are there any names out there? I mean, obviously, you're going to be completely focused on Jesse right now. But are there any names out there that you're interested in potential future matchups? I know you've mentioned uh, Ricky Tercios in the past, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's a bunch because uh, I'm so new, you know, like the, yeah. it, the division's so fresh to me. It's like everybody, it would be a great fight. So what, what really gets me excited is the exciting matchups, not necessarily mm -hmm. certain names or anything like that. It's guys that really fight and bring it uh, in an exciting style. And that can be whatever stuff. It can be stand-up, it can be grappling, but guys that really want to fight. That that was part of the uh, Ricky Turkio thing too, because I like him. Um, I, I think he fights awesome. He's exciting. And when, when I see something like that, I think, wow we would have a great fight. So that's kind of what I look for when I look for opponents. And I'm just not in a position yet to start um, dropping names on guys yet. I'm going to go out there and take out Jesse and then, uh, and then go from there. But yeah, I'm, I'm uh, the, the UFC 135 is a, is an open book to me. I, I can, I can take anybody in there. So uh, I'm just excited to see what the UFC wants to do with me. 100%. Um, 
so you maybe can't pick a specific opponent but how many times are you hoping to get in there with a, with an opponent um this year yeah um i mean ideally i'd like to get three fights this year that mm -hmm. that that works really well for me um i want to be in a position where i can say yes to fights when they come up um you know i'm i'm, I'm not super young so i want to make sure i'm not um, letting too much time slip by in between mm -hmm. and uh i want to stay ready now that you know i'm, I'm with, with the ufc and i signed that contract it feels different like it feels like this is my job every day to be as ready to fight as i possibly can and uh that's going to make me better and it's going to make give me the ability to say yes to fights that uh, normally i might not have been able to so uh, mm -hmm. i really want to make sure I'm, I'm staying aggressive in taking fights obviously i've got my team my management and my coaches to make sure i'm not being foolish um but yeah i want to be that type of guy that fights a lot i think that's important in this time too because there's a lot of great fighters in the UFC, but if you're not active, you're not, you're not anybody anymore. People forget about you pretty quick. So I don't want to be that guy. I want, I want to stay on the front of people's minds and keep fighting. So. And then just one last question from me today. Um, at the very top of the division, um, we've got the rematch coming up soon at UFC 273 between Aljamain Sterling and Piotr Jan. Uh, how do you see that one playing out? Do you think it's going to be different this time? Well, I presume that <laughs> the ending will be different this time, but how do you see the overall fight playing out? Yeah, I hope it's different. It'll be at least a little bit different. Um, you know, it's really hard to say because I was mm. such a, an Aljo fan for so long. I think he's crazy skilled and definitely one of the best in, in the in the world. Uh, but Jan just keeps showing how good he is. You know, uh, he just keeps repeatedly upping his stock. But um, I kind of going to go back to it because I still I'm still such an Aljo fan. I think he's so mm. skilled. Uh, I think that he can figure it out and he can pull it off. He, he's got the skills to beat Jan. But uh, man, what a great fight that is. That, that's so exciting for the division. And uh, yeah, that's a, that's going to be an awesome fight. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Chad. Um, we really appreciate it. If there's any um, shout outs or social media plugs you'd like to give, feel free. Sure. Uh, I just want to thank my team, uh, Champions Creed uh, MMA here in Calgary. It's the only place I train. They do everything for me. We've got the best team, the best teammates. Uh, and my teammate, Hakeem uh, Dawadu, is fighting tomorrow. Uh, in Vegas, so I just want to give him a shout out, and uh, you guys should really tune in because he's looking sharp as ever. He's going to put on a KO. Awesome, yeah. Me and Hakeem versus Mike Trezano should be a good one. Thank you, Chad. Best of luck in the upcoming fight. Okay, appreciate it. Thanks, man.